Beyonce. House music, club, EDM, who did it better? Why did it sound the same at the same exact point? Who's really leading the force? Who's not? Who catching the Grammys? All that talks right here, right our conversation. Bow! Flight safety card, which we now ask you to read before takeoff. Thank you for your attention, and we wish you all a pleasant flight. Now, listen, it's the Red Eye Conversation. It's your boy, Punch. Now, I've listened to the Beyonce single, Break My Soul. Okay? Beyonce single, Break My Soul. I've listened to Drake's album, Honestly, Never Mind. Now, I don't like to compare an album with a song. It's already starting the comparison off unfair. An album versus a song. But... Nonetheless, I want to start talking about certain things. Now, when Drake dropped Honestly, Never Mind, I think the internet was split 50-50. People was like, yo, you got to be on a whole nother platform to understand what Drake is doing. You got to be on a whole, you got to travel. You got to know the world. And I'm going to be real. I agree. And Beyonce comes and everybody's like, nah, this is it. This is it. I can't. I mean, hey, the queen said so. And let me tell you something. I feel it. I get a little annoyed by the fans that just wish wash a line. Be like, one day they love this, one day they love that. But fuck it, man. The fans going to do what they do. So the question of today, who's leading the force? Is it Beyonce? Is it Drake? The sound. Why out of all of the sounds in the world did they both do house, club, infused music three days apart from each other and release the same weekend? Like, what's up? I'm just, this is, this is what I wanted to understand and talk about. So if you click this far, we're already here. Now you already know what it is. My name punch. I'm a DJ. I came from it. I got to DJ through Europe many, many years ago. Not that many, many, probably like what? Three years ago. Yeah. I got to DJ through Europe through some very fun times. Got to play at some really big festivals, played at Tomorrowland. Just pause that. Google it. Boom. All right, cool. Trust me. The biggest festival you ever seen in your life. It was so much. I don't even want to say what was there, but a lot of people were, uh, exploring uh their free self you know i don't want to darken it and say they had anything but trust me there was a lot of action in there crowd people zoned out they weren't sleeping for days you figure it out how to get in the energy for it nonetheless dance music club even twists and turns of variation everything of edm uh everything all in variation i see it so beyonce gets this break my soul record that's fire it features Frida. Now, if y'all don't really know, Frida's really like this uh, bounce artist from New Orleans. Bounce music is super fire. Frida went on to say, and I'm going to quote Frida. You feel me? I'm going to quote it. Uh, she just basically was like, but it'd be like, once again, I'm so honored to be a part of this special moment. I'm forever grateful, Lord. Mad emojis, mad emojis. And it says, someone please catch me. Now, I feel that Beyonce's the queen. And she does no wrong. When Drake did this the week before, the world was like, why is he doing this sound? This isn't even that good. This is weird. It's not giving life. I wanted to hear bars. And Drake, I just, like I said on my previous video, if you haven't seen it, make sure you watch it below my initial reaction to it. I just told you I felt like Drake is getting so wealthy that his vibes and his experiences are different. So not everything that he wants to do is all rap, 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 rap. I know the rap records is coming. I know the trap records is coming. But he just wanted to just... Just get a little bit of vibe right now. Like I tell y'all, this make me want to do, you know what I mean? Go on a mountaintop, go on a, on a on a boat, wear some white linen. It's a different vibe for Drake and Beyonce, same way. But now we go again. I just wanted to tap on some things. So let's dig in. The one thing that's really, really powerful about the Beyonce record, the Break My Soul record, is that it's like five minutes long. Now, if y'all know music lately has been two minutes, sometimes two and a half, two minutes, 45 seconds. So for her to go five minutes, it went back to that pure feel. But that's what dance is really about. It's really not about the quick little pieces, get up off of it. It's really about getting in the groove. And, you know, when you produce a record, it's called the sequencing of it. So the instrumentation on a record, it comes in all at a certain time. That's called the sequence. So when you hear in all of these records and dance music, they have all of these different sequences, drums here, more keys there, the keys and the drums here, the keys and the bass, the bass and the drum, you know, it goes on and on and on. But points being is that there's so many different sequences in the dance record that could really, really bring the elements out. Beyonce got in her bag. Now, who produced it? Tricky Stewart. Now, if y'all don't know who Tricky Stewart is, trust me, you do. You've heard it. You've known him throughout the whole career of the dream. It's the one who produced 
I don't want to say a percentage, but probably 75, 80% of the Dream's career was Tricky Stewart. Beyonce's worked with Dream a bunch of times. We all know. You already know what this is. You know what I mean? But the wild part about everything is this, right? Um, Tricky, on the same exact accord, um, who produced it, you start to look at this and really go, wow. When did they start creating this? And how did Drake and Beyonce both get on the same vibe? That's what I was thinking about. You get what I'm saying? Like, that was the wildest part for me. So when I, I start to dig in, I want to go like, yo, who produced the record? Whose record is it? So it's this sample. Well, it's a song from the 90s from a, from a person named Robin S. The song is called Show Me Love. So Robin S, Show Me Love, and you'll hear the original Beyonce record that Tricky sampled. It was real big in the UK. They used to play it up, go crazy. A bunch of articles talk about how crazy it was at weddings. And it was the vibe. Basically, it's the celebration song. You feel me? So, with life and feeling good. So, when Beyonce got it, it's already in the groove. Like, subconsciously, we've probably been hearing it on random moments and feeling that. Jason Dorello and Charlie XCX already sampled this. So, like, they've already been in the bag with this. And Beyonce brought life to it. I love it, right? Now, we go on the, on the side of Drake. Now, Drake's record... Um, you know what I mean, was mostly produced by Black Coffee. Now, if y'all don't know Black Coffee, go find out Black Coffee. Super big in the Afrobeat world, super big in the open format world, big producer, DJ, the whole shit. Now, Black Coffee and Kind Music. This one was, I was a little bit new to. It was somebody from Australia, and he had Gordo. Now, Gordo, I knew, but I didn't know who Gordo was until I was reminded. Gordo is DJ Carnage. So a lot of people didn't know, like, DJ Carnage is Gordo. I just found that out. It was blowing my mind. Um, He's done a bunch of records, you know what I mean? I turned 10 to a 10. Uh, I turned 22 to a 50. Uh, I done a new... He had this song, What You Want? Tell me what you want, little Uzi Vert. And a bunch of motherfuckers on shit crazy. So Carnage know how to get in that vibe and that groove, and now he renamed himself as Gordo for whatever reason, and now he produced this album with Drake, Kai Music, and Black Coffee. So it's a lot of the producers is like vibing it and getting this in. Trust me, I'll be playing this music, but you know, Universal Republic and Columbia don't play with Beyonce or Drake. If we played the music, you lose their mind. But just be clear, all in all, I want to ask y'all, who's really, really controlling this force? Me, I'm still going to give it to Drake. You know, it's a big OVO. Beyonce was in her bag on the record. The record is amazing. But Drake did a whole album infused. Now, if Beyonce come with a whole album, it's going to be different. So I got Drake as leading it, but that Break My Soul record is amazing. Now we start to link about the records that stand out on Drake's record. Keeper, Calling My Name. These records are amazing. Great feel. Have y'all actually heard this in a club? I want to hear, drop a comment if you heard it in a club. If you heard it at a party, you heard it at a vibe. Where are you going to listen to this? Is this going to be like top down, yo, we vibing, I'm with a girl? Or is this like, yo, I'm in the gym? Because, you know, dance music is fast as fuck. I'm just trying to learn, like, what's y'all vibe? If I got to give my, my 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 vote, I'm giving Drake as leading the sound. I'm being real. Like, and again, not creating it. I'm talking about the newer version of what it is. The imposed and infused dance club sound now on top of it, right? Beyonce smoked that shit, though. It's just crazy. Even Frida. And then he's on the bag, yo. Yo, release your job. Every single girl on my timeline talking about she about to quit a job. Now, I know. I know that they just bullshit them, but the Beehive fan base is crazy. I wish the OVO fan base was as loud as the Beehive. The Beehive is relentless. I don't want to. I don't want to piss no wire on the Beehive off. But drop your comments. Drop everything. Who really, really smoked it? Who's really leading this? Is Beyonce's whole album gonna sound like Club? What you think? Do you think that she should? Do you think that it's all cool to feel like this? But we're like, it's good because it's one song, and then they want to hear those big R and B records, those big singing, even hip hop infused joints. Like, where do you really want to see it at? That's what I want to get to. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Subscribe, like, all of that good shit. You feel me? It's the Red Eye Conversation. I just want to open a mind. It's good music. I can talk about rap all day. But why not talk about that good vibe music for a second? You feel me? It's the airport. Take off with me. Ah.